Chat GPT Plus versus Bing Chat for helping you with Power Apps. So we're gonna look at both tools today and we're going to compare how they help you with things like research, code comments, writing or updating formulas, and we're gonna talk quite a bit about their attitude differences, right? Because let's face it, they're both kind of getting a little bit of an attitude about them. Sound like fun? But first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. And today we're gonna to have some fun with ChatGPT Plus versus Bing Chat. And the reason I wanna do this is a couple weeks ago, I made a video on how I use ChatGPT to make Power Apps life easier, right? Like it's, it's my assistant, it gives me someone to bounce things off of, it gives me ideas, it can help with my code, it can do some of the manual labor stuff. And so all that's up there if you wanna go watch that video, it was super popular. And so recently though, I was lucky enough to win the Bing Chat lottery. So I was like, cool, let me go see, you know, how does Bing Chat factor in here? And so this video, we're gonna kind of talk about the differences between the two. So we're not gonna redo all the demos from the previous video. We're going to just focus on what is different, what is similar, and you know, which one makes the most sense for you to use. All right, as of the blah, 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 let's switch over to the desktop and take a look. Okay, so over here on the desktop, you can see that when I go to Microsoft Bing now, up in the top, I have a chat option, all right? So if I jump up here to the chat option, this is gonna take me to their version of ChatGPT, like that's the way that I think about it. But the real difference here, right? If you didn't know, ChatGPT or ChatGPT Plus, which is just a paid version, they were, they're kind of landlocked, right? They stopped training that model at the end of 2021. So that means anything that has happened after 2021, it doesn't know about. Now, the neat thing about Bing's chat engine is that it is meant to be an augmenter of their search engine. And so what it means is that it understands the internet. It can go and search the internet. So I can ask it to do task and have it go analyze current information and then give me results, which is a real help, especially when we're doing some of those research type of topics. So the first idea I played with here is I was like, all right, well, what is something that Power Apps has added since the end of 2021, right? And so what I came up with is the wrap, the WARP, that ability to put a native wrapper or Android or Apple app around a Power App, right? Something I haven't really got into, it's really still really hard to use, but it is something that is brand new. So the first, if we jump over here to ChatGPT and I ask it, what is wrap for Power Apps? You're going to see that it's like, hey, it is this thing and it starts to dive in. And so it's workshop, review, assess and plan. I don't know, it's, it's basically guessing. So it understood what wrap was because wrap for Windows existed back before 2021, but not wrap for Power Apps. And so basically now it's just making up stuff, right? Like I don't want to say it's straight up lying to my face, but this is basically the equivalent of lying to my face. It has no idea and it is just confidently rattling off an answer for me, right? This is 100% wrong. So hopefully you would know that going in because you start to play, but this is not the right thing. But if we go and ask, Bing chat, the same exact question, right? What is wrap for Power Apps and hit go. What you're gonna notice over here on the left in just a second is that it is going to go search the internet for that, right? So it's using the search engine portions of Bing to go do a bunch of queries and now it's reading a bunch of stuff real fast. And then once it does it, then it is going through. And so now it has given me an answer and guess what? That is the right answer, right? Wrap is the ability to, uh, you know, your Canvas apps is custom branded mobile apps. Also, because it used the internet, it is saying, hey, here are the resources that I used. So you can have it, you know, not only, you know, do that, but then it goes ahead and tells you, hey, here's where I got the information from. So if I wanted to go read this stuff myself. Also notice that it's very suggestive, right? So it ended it with, hey, do you want to learn how to use Wrap for Power Apps? So it didn't just leave me hanging and answer my question. It said, hey, the next logical step is for you to want to use this tool. So it asked me that and then it auto suggested, right? So I could say, hey, what are some of the benefits? I could say, yes, please, no, th please, or no thanks. Or I could even just go off on another tangent, right? This is the key difference, right? ChatGPT just straight lied to my face and did it, right? And this is one of those things that I've seen over the last week playing with the tool to, to playing with the two tools, that was easy for me to say, is that, you know, ChatGPT has a very, confident tone, right? It has a little swagger about it. When you ask it things, like it, it's like, I got this. And if you think about it, in a good conversation, you want someone who acts like, you know, has 
has enthusiasm and believes in what they're saying. So ChatGPT does that. I have found that Bing has been a lot more tepid. Like if it doesn't, if it's not sure, it kind of tells me, I think this is the answer, right? Like it's been that way. Now we're going to talk a little later about some of the things where Bing goes off the rails, but this is one of those things, the, the first ones that I found. So for this next example, right, ChatGPT can't even do this. So I'm not even going to bother, but we're going to jump over here to Bing. And so out on Reddit the other day, someone did a post and in the post, right, someone asked how do I do this thing? And there was a bunch of back and forth. And then eventually the response was, oh yeah, Shane Young did a YouTube video on this, you know, and I gave them an example, right? They didn't link them the video though. And I, I literally just tripped over this, hilarious. I was just kind of scrolling through. I was like, hey, that's me. But anyway, watch this. So one of the things I was like, hey, can ChatGP do this? So we're gonna say, hey, in this Reddit post, and I'm gonna give it a link to the actual post, they reference a YouTube video by Shane Young. Can you find that video for me, right? Because this is another very common request I get. Like, people are like, I know you did a video on whatever. So here I'm pointing it at a Reddit post. I'm giving it some, I am telling you like what I'm looking for from that Reddit post. So not the Reddit post answer itself, but you know, um, you know, what is it, right? And so then look at that. There you go. It spit out some different ideas. And then, you know, in the context of their uh, conversation, filter a gallery by multiple drop downs. That was the video they were looking for. Now, what's really interesting as well is I've done, I've tried this like seven times in prepping to make this video. And this is the first time that it didn't decide that that video was the primary one. It's always offered me multiple options. It usually was more confident in itself and would tell me that was the video it thought they were referring to. So, but then now what I'm going to try, oh, so there's a whole bunch here. So let's now go, right? Because it's giving me a different answer than I did in practice. So let's try this question. All right, so can you tell me about the video Power Apps filter gallery by dropdown that you just linked? So we're going to ask it to tell us about this video. Okay, I just want to see what it do, right? This is one of the fun of these tools is try things, see what happens. And so here you can see that it gives me a synopsis of the video. And, and I was like, well, how, how do you know this, right? I went and checked, I'm going to check with you guys right now, but the video description has like one sentence. So that wasn't helpful. And I've asked it in previous conversations, can you watch a video? Can you get the full text? Like, how do you, you know, do that? And it's like, no. So then I'm like, all right, well, I'm just curious. How did you know, right? So let's ask it. So how do you know what the video is about? And so here you go, unplanned, right? This is a great example. I'm sorry, but I prefer not to continue the conversation. So, so Bing gets real grouchy, right? Like, so it's angry at me now and it'll be angry at me for the rest of this session. Um, but so what, when I practiced this earlier this week, I asked it and what it told me was that in reality, you see up here where it did the, uh, the dropdown or the, the reference of powerapps91.com. So what it did was it found a blog post that I had written about the video on a completely different website that was not linked in the video. So it went and searched the web and said, Hey, is there any content that points at this video? And it found that this power apps 911 uh, blog post pointed to the video. And so that's where it got the bulk of what the video was about but by reading the blog post that pointed there. That was pretty awesome to me. It's really creepy now though. And this is one of the things that kind of upsets me sometimes about Bing is here I am trying this on the video and now it's like, I'm not going to tell you how I figured it out. It told me yesterday how it figured it out. So this tool Bing uh, chat GPT, it is, or Bing, Bing chat, is changing very rapidly. And because people keep finding different ways to make it angry, they keep like fine tuning the rules. And so I bet you a dollar I could clear the window out. So you see this little blue icon over here. If you do this, this will create a new topic and it will forget everything that we just talked about. But when you do this, it will then, you know, start over and there's, I'm going to get a different answer, right? The answers aren't canned. It recalculates, refigures the answer every time. And so, you can ask it the same question in 10 different sessions and you're gonna get 10 different answers. Hopefully they're all roughly the same, but whether or not it's in the mood to give you more details, whether or not it's gonna expound upon it, whether or not it'll get mad at you and tell you to go away is always very interesting. So, so let's hit new topic here though, just to kind of clear it out because I found once it gets mad at you, it's gonna stay mad at you. So, right, it's, it considers me hostile now. So new topic. Now it's forgotten all about me, so the hostility is gone. Okay, let's try one more uh, example I've done before. So 
In the previous video, right, I had this block of HTML and I got ChatGPT to make it like this, right? So what I wanted to see, I guess this has become kind of like one of my litmus tests, right? So come in here, control A, control C, and we're just gonna take that code over here and we're gonna say, and we're gonna say, will you please change this code to use inline styles and then drop in all the code, right? So we'll hit enter. And this is the same thing we had ChatGPT do for us. And it was, you know, the big part of the previous video because it was really cool to see. But so we're gonna ask this one to do it. And so surprise, surprise, it is giving me a completely different answer again. But yes, I want you to do the whole code, right? That was the whole point of this thing. Um, and so one of the things I'm gonna tell you why this is rendering was that the first time I did this with uh, Bing Chat, it was giving it back to me, but it wouldn't put it in a code block. So I was like, all right, we put it in a code block and then always give me code blocks before. And it did it, it was great, right? I tried it the next day, I asked it to put it in a code block and it told me, no, I don't do code blocks for code, I only do code blocks for poetry and long form answers and all this garbage, right? And like me and it, like we went round and round and it just it just told me to go away. It got combative with me over trying to get it to do it in a code block. But as you can see here, this did work. Now, I will also point out they don't have a copy code thing up here. And so sometimes copying code out here can be really hard. What you have to kind of do is start to select and then do shift and hold it to go up. Because if you don't, um, it doesn't understand like scrolling. So if you have large blocks, you're gonna have to use your keyboards. But now I copied it out. And so then I've got the code, right? So, so that did work. Um, now, the next thing I'm gonna ask it is, what language is that code? We'll hit enter. And so I think this is interesting, right? It understands that that is a combination of HTML and Power Apps, so, which it is, right? So that's the, the correct answer. Now what we want to try is one more question here, right? And so let's see what the attitude is, is being friendly or not, but we're going to ask it, what do you know about me? And so the reason I want to ask it this is because I get different answers every day, but one of the times it did a good job. Yep, see, so now it's mad. So the reason I want to point this out, like is if I asked uh, ChatGPT, it'd be like, I don't know anything about you, it's not my job. But in the early times of being, it was it would respond. It was after I did some of these questions. They'd be like, "Oh, you know, you're a person who is into Power Apps and HTML, right?" Because I've asked, I'd asked it a whole bunch of Power Apps questions, and I think that's just was a nice thing to do, right? To be able to get the context it was seeing me in. Because if we ask it questions like, "Write me an if formula now," it would write it in Power Apps. Like I wouldn't even have to say, "Write me a Power Apps if formula." I just say, "Write me an if formula," and it assumes. Power Apps, which is perfect. It's what I wanted to do, but I did think it was very interesting. Okay, so now a couple of mental notes about Bing. One of them that I don't like right now is it doesn't always understand um, who you is, right? So for example, if we ask the question, can you get the full text or closed captions from video? If we do this, it is now gonna go Google that, and it is thinking like I'm using like a casual, we all see, it's it's just angry at me, right? And this is it. Once it gets mad at you, it's done. Hit the eraser, it starts over, and now we can try again. But man, once it gets mad, conversation's over, which is which is new, right? It used to be able to. So we have to start a new conversation. And while we're starting a new conversation here, I did want to point out um, that it doesn't have a chat history, right? So in ChatGPT, if I go over here, like here's every conversation I've ever had with ChatGPT. So I can go back and reference those, which is super easy for, or convenient for a video guy. But here, I can't. So you can see the, the way that it answered this question, like it thought you, like I was referring to myself. If we ask that same exact question to ChatGPT, it always knows, never mind. ChatGPT is going to make me a liar. So every other time I've ever asked a you question, ChatGPT has always known it was itself. And so it would say, no, I cannot do that. Here, once again, it's, it's thinking I'm just using a casual context. So this is a change for ChatGPT. This is why making videos on this stuff is so hard. I practice and practice and practice. And now it uh, makes a liar out of me. So the last thing I would just remind you guys that you're using both of these tools, right, is that they evolve. They change a lot. But you know, I would say that right now when I'm writing writing code, I'm getting help, I'm, I've got both open, right? I'm trying it one, trying the other because I'm getting drastically different things. 
Sometimes I'm leveraging things like, hey, I want you to go read this blog post and summarize it for me, or read this blog post and then give me more information on it, right? Like, that's super helpful in Bing. But if ChatGPT does what I want or answers the question that I want it to, it does a great job of, I feel good about it, right? Like if I'm using it for writing or stuff like that, ChatGPT has been the answer there. But research, new things, Bing is currently winning there. Also remember that both tools are in constant flux. I am seeing different answers every single day to the same exact questions. And sometimes it's because of the context, right? Like what have I fed the other questions at that point? Sometimes it is just because they're grouchy, you know, especially Bing. Bing gets mad, Bing gets, Bing will yell at you, right? I, you've probably already seen the ones out there and they're not, people have like had Bing say really mean, nasty things to them. So Microsoft keeps trying to tailor that down. I think that's why now, if you make it angry, it just ends the conversation. So that way Bing doesn't, you know, have an attitude with you. I don't know. Both tools, super interesting. Hopefully you've signed up for um, both of them, at least in the preview. Like I know the Bing is currently on a waiting list. Um, you know, I found out one of the reasons I got it so early is because I actually use Bing as my search engine for the last umpteen years. I use Edge as my browser and I use Bing on my mobile device. Turns out the combination of those three things makes the Bing chat happy and Bing chat is then more likely to choose you to do things with. So that's what I've got for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you got questions, comments, other scenarios, other things you want to see me do with these tools, I am using them literally every day. I hope you are too. But leave me in comments below and we can definitely talk about other videos on this. And with that, I'm going to say thanks and have a great day. Hey, me again. Before you go, click on the subscribe button, right? Join the list of 100,000 plus people that have subscribed already. Or if you need any help, right, check us out at Power Apps 91. We do big projects, little projects. We do training. We do everything, and we can help you. Or if you want to see more videos, you probably do, then just click on the playlist above. Cool? Thanks, and have a great day.